Hi guys, welcome to Little Wicket Railway. I'm Rob and this is a short video that follows on from my last video on automation with dispatcher that shows you how you can track trains in layout editor. For example, you set up a train in dispatcher and you can see the colors on your layout editor changing as the blocks go from unoccupied to allocated to occupied. But wouldn't it be better to have the train's name also move across the screen so you can keep track of it? Well, it turns out it's really easy to do that in JMRI and I will show you how in this video. Sorry, I didn't put it in the last video, but I only discovered how to do it after I'd uploaded. If you're finding these videos useful, then please give me a like and subscribe. Let's get started. Okay, so we've got our layout from the um, automation tutorial. So we'll go to edit mode. And then what you want is this block contents um, radio button over here. And you'll see in the drop down, it's got all your blocks. Well, what you need to do is click on, say, left. Come over here to your left block or somewhere near it. Hold down the shift key and press with the left mouse button. And it'll look like nothing's happened, but bear with me. Do this again with the right one. And um, we'll do this again with the siding and then come out of edit mode and then we'll create a new train in here um, I don't have anything attached at the moment so I'm gonna have to kind of fake so we'll say we've got a train in that block um, I'm faking it using the sensors um, internally but we'll create a new train um, so we'll go with the um, Backman is going left to right. Its train is in the selected siding. Um, go as far as possible. Uh, terminate when done. And um, we'll run the train automatically. And we'll create. And what it does is it shows which train is in that block and which train is allocated in the section ahead of it. Um, so now if we move our train uh, or simulate moving our train using the sensors over into that right hand block and we'll deactivate this one it's now moved into the right hand block so the backman next 18 is showing next to that block and this block's become clear so that's a really useful way of doing some basic train tracking um, combined with dispatcher I should also say it is possible to change the appearance of these so if you go to edit mode and right click on there and you can go to font change the font the font size the font style and the font color so you can make it look a bit more interesting so another thing worth noting is that if you didn't want your um, sections that have been allocated to a train to also show their name well you can go in here and change the uh, dispatcher options and it's by unticking this. So if you wanted the name to appear in all the future sections allocated ahead of it, tick that. If you wanted them, uh, the train name only to appear in the block that it's currently in, leave it unticked and hit apply. And we'll just test this out with a new train going from left to right with the Backman 18. Um, terminate, we're done, run automatically, create. So it hasn't put the train name in the allocated section and we'll just simulate it running forward and there the train name has moved across so that's what we were looking for and then we can terminate it so there we go there's a few extra tips on how to use train tracking in layout editor